Hi, I'm Rick Crane of Angler's Artistry, and we're here with Jim Pellerin from Gorham, Maine. Jim's an alumni student. He's been here several times, and we're working on a reproduction muskie for this particular workshop. Uh, Jim, why don't you tell everybody what you do for a living, because I find it very interesting. So I'm a fish biologist with the state of Maine, and I work out of the Gray Regional Office, and I'm in charge of the, the entire Sebago Lakes region. We've got about 300 lakes and ponds and three or 4,000 miles of stream. So it keeps us pretty busy. So you see fish on a regular basis. We see a lot of fish. Okay. One of the things that we talk about, you and I, when we're here is how important it is or why it's important for fish to look like fish. And a lot of times anglers don't pick up on the little subtleties of fish. So when you're out uh, interviewing people out in the field and fishermen out in the field, do you ask them questions about fish and different things that they see? Yeah. So if we're out in the field, we're, a lot of times we're collecting data. Uh, most times what we'd be collecting is length and weight. Um, age data and catch rate data and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah. Okay. One of the things that we are working on in this workshop is not necessarily using a lot of airbrush. In this particular fish, uh, Jim's doing a pedestal mount, um, which is going to be placed on a, a great big column and it's going to be inserted through a hole that we've created for this. But uh, we're working with some pastels here, not just traditional airbrush colors. So do you want to talk a little bit about some of the things that you like about, you know, learning some different techniques? Yeah, so beyond just the airbrush, I mean, Rick showed me how to use charcoal powders, uh, pastels. Uh, we use a lot of Pearlex powders. Um, I find them. Never in a million years did I think I could paint fish of this quality. Um, I find the powders to be very forgiving and uh, much easier to paint with in some, in some cases than the, than the airbrush. And you can also get results that you just you can't achieve with an airbrush. You know, that's, that's a really important thing for folks to know. An airbrush is like a tool. That's all it is. It is a tool. Um, and just like a screwdriver, not every screwdriver can turn every screw. So the airbrush is a great tool for, for certain things and, and different aspects of painting. But it's not always the best tool. So like right here, you're working with some pastels to create the, the markings on this muskie. And we could try to achieve it the same way, but using an airbrush. But don't you find this very fast and very efficient way yeah, to do this, it? This is very fast, and, and it's very controlled. And if I make a mistake, it's easy to fix or adjust. Yeah, one of the fun things about having Jim here, where you know he's a fisheries biologist, accuracy of color and accuracy of, of other aspects of the fish is really important. So where we're focusing on painting a fish this time, Jim has some reference pictures of a friend of his that's a guide, and that's actually who this fish is for, correct? Yes. And who's that gentleman? Although I may keep it. You may keep it. It's coming <laughs> out pretty good. You may not be getting your fish for this one. But uh, we've, we've achieved some of the colorations that we've seen here, not by using standard or stock colors, but creating colors. Right. So part of your workshop is also learning how to take reference pictures um, and learn how to interpret them to pull out the colors that you want. You want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, that's that's probably being a being a relatively newbie. That's probably one of the hardest things is to look at a photo and, and break that down and, and be able to put that put that on the replica or put that on the skin. Um, take takes some practice. All right, I think you're doing a pretty good job with this one. Well, I still got a good keep. <laughs> Well, so we'll we'll do some follow-up photos with this fish when it's all completed, but uh, it, it's coming out great. If you want any further information on taking workshops here at Anglers Artistry with myself, Rick Crane, uh, go to www.anglersartistry.com and check out the website and, and look at some of the great work that folks like Jim are doing, and um, we hope to see you soon. I wish you my very best.